rise for the Committee on Privatization and Commercialization of the Oseni. The Commissioners who are here present, Mr. Daphi Apene and Mr. Nathan Shati. The Director General Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission, Mr. Michael Ohe, Mr. Amadu Haruna. The Director General of Energy, Niger Republic, Mr. Alfari Salu. We welcome you all. I will now call on the Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Minister. Ms. 1G3 and 1G4. This marks another monumental step, step toward the uh, forward for mainstream energy solutions limited and an attestation of our play to generate and deliver more power for our great nation. From the commencement of our operations in 2013, the company has diligently undertaken the commitment under the concession agreement with the Federal Government of Nigeria. As at May 2021, we have recovered 542 megawatts from Kainji and Java Hydro Power Plants, bringing our total available capacity to 1,002 megawatts from the 460 megawatt when we took over the power plant in 2013. This project was complete successfully in 2016. Consul killed 340 megawatts restored to Nigeria's power generation capacity. Most of them even involved the rehabilitation of unit 25, 6, and 125. And today, I hereby ensure they are fully supported by the headquarters. They have established the awareness of quantity, safety, and the responsibility for the installation of Unit 1G3 and 1G4 projects. With our as a contract to provide the best service and deliver the best projects, with our enterprise mission of service engineer, project and the promote harmonious development of man and the nature. We will operate in ways that uplift the society and the environment on a long-term basis, making contribution to the local people's living standards in the region. Of we believe that with the successful execution of this project, a new chapter for our cooperation will be written. The development of Nigeria's power sector will also make greater and better achievement.
one quarter units were left open with no generating units installed. In response to the shortfall in the plan, the Java Hydroelectric Power Plant was conceived with six toilet at the Kanji Hydropower Plant was running. Only the Jabba Hydropower Plant with 460 megawatts was in operation. Limited is proud to have restored the energy generation in Kanji to 520 megawatts and increased Jabba to 40 GE. A reputable engineering construction firm has just been completed. At the Jabba Power Plants, however, the only unit not available was 2G6 with 96.4 megawatts. The contract in such a short period of time. Our plan at Mainstream Energy Solutions Limited is to inject $108 million into Kanji Hydroelectric Power Plant through capacity expansion and recovery program, an investment which will see the installation of two new continues to be the only power generating company in that is the expression of the company's desire to reach out to its host communities directly from a well-articulated and community development interventions in the health, education, environment, and community empowerment. As a measure of its commitment towards the enhancement of living urban and rural construction, ecological and environmental protection. In the past six decades, we provided all-round technical services for more than 300 large... Kaiji and Jeba dams are examples of key assets across the next value chain that require significant capital uh, investments. As stakeholders, we must work collectively to ensure economic viability by creating an enabling environment that will attract sustainable financial investment that is required to help take and further expand electricity infrastructure in our country. To ensure sustainability in this, some of the urgent issues that require interventions are revenue assurance. We must adopt policies that aid, aid the unlocking, with unlocking guarantee and liquidity. The availability of affordable and reliable electricity in Nigeria is a catalyst to industrial development which will positively impact the standard of living. Nigeria is a nation of over 200 million people with an average generation capacity of 5,000 megawatts. This clearly shows we are not meeting the electricity demand of our citizens. This gap requires that we look for innovative ways to improve our generation capacity. It is in the light of this that I express my unreserved delight in being a part of this historic milestone, a groundbreaking ceremony for Units 1, G3 and 1G4 of mainstream energy hydro plant here in Kainji. Already contributing to the grid. Once we stabilize the base load through the hydropower plant at various stages of completion and also with the integration of these two units, we are performing our grid more resilient. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to acknowledge the contributions and investment of Mainstream Energy Solutions Limited towards the... We will thank Almighty Allah that having such kind of intervention from Mainstream to commissioning another turban is a great achievement for us, it's a great achievement for the entire country, particularly with the challenges that we are having in terms of electricity. On behalf of the Committee on Power, we are ready, we are ever ready to support whatever the challenge comes from the ministry to ensure
smooth running and implementation. The groundbreaking of 1G3 and 1G4 is a clear evidence that the mainstream energy limited a solution as concessionaire under the federal government privatization and financial aid program for Kenji is quite is working. We therefore want to, on behalf of Mr. Speaker and the entire parliament, extend our congratulations to the management of mainstream and of course the entire power sector of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'm here to uh, perform the groundbreaking ceremony and to inspect the, the, the power plant, the, the Kanji Hydro. 
which we have just done the groundbreaking uh, uh, ceremony in order to increase the power generating capacity of, uh, of the mainstream from Kainji, which is at present about uh, 700 uh, plus megawatts. And with these two units, uh, we are expecting them to increase to over 900 megawatts. And as you know, we have been talking about increasing our base load through uh, renewable uh, energy and mostly uh, hydro. So um, our vision that the president has signed recently, uh, the vision 30, 30, 30, uh, is aimed at increasing the operational capacity of the NACI to 30,000 megawatts by 2030. And as you may be aware, 30% of that is going to come from renewable energy. So you can see the nexus between that vision and what we have just done now. So this would help in actualizing that vision. So that's why I, I am so enthused and uh, eager to come to perform this groundbreaking ceremony. And I want to seize this opportunity to commend uh, the chairman and, uh, of Mainstream, the managing director and the rest of the staff on the good work they are doing in order to stabilize the electricity generation in this country. What assurances are you giving Nigeria? Pardon? What assurances are you giving Nigeria with this? Yes, uh, with this and other interventions coming in the, uh, to the power sector, I, it's just a matter of time. We have to have patience. We are doing a lot. Government is doing a lot in terms of uh, policy to give a very good enabling environment to all this investment from the private sector and uh, the government is also investing in, in, in the sector through the provision of uh, uh, an expansion of uh, uh, the transmission infrastructure which will and it's unprecedented it has never happened like this time you know what is going on in the and the expansion programs and uh, you know the semen program which is also been chased to see to actualization so people have to have patience uh, good things doesn't come easy it takes time what we are we are we are seeing in the horizon that uh, better times are coming thank you thank you what are the hopes you are going to give nigerians when these two 1g3 and 1g4 is um, successfully installed. Well, thank you very much. Uh, the event we are witnessing today is actually a historical moment for mainstream energy solutions and also to the Nigerian electricity uh, industry. Uh, because we have an agreement through the concession agreement with federal government to restore the installed capacity of both Kainji and Jebba Hydro power plants. But what we are doing today is not part of the concession agreement. It's coming from the commitment mainstream energy has you know, to increase uh, 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 energy into the uh, economy. You know, because if we had restricted ourselves to only the concession agreement, it's only rehabilitation recovery. But we are going be beyond just recovery of the capacity we are going to expansion so it's a historical moment for us it's a historical moment for nigerians and we believe at the uh, end of this um, project with the 220 megawatt that will be added to the grid it will definitely uh, have significant impact on the economy of the nation we can see the challenges we've been having everybody is asking what is happening what is happening if investment have been uh, pulled into the sector like what mainstream is doing now by other operators the story would have been different so initially what is what are Nigerians going to expect from this very particular event yes at the completion of this project as I've said earlier 220 megawatt of electricity will be added to the grid not only that by the installation of these two additional units, it will reduce the quantity of water that we will have to spill downstream, which normally affects 
the communities that live downstream of Kawenji. We always, uh, if you can remember, the issues we normally have during rainy season of you know the floods and uh, how it affects the communities, the riparian communities downstream. By the installation of this, we will be able to manage the flood better, much better than what it used to be. So it's a double benefit, the energy quantum with that to the grid and to the economy to power our industries and homes and at the same time to reduce environmental impact. See the traditional rulers who have all this, uh, from inside this, you know, post communities uh, from Jeba, Mokwa, Axis, uh, whose uh, domain is the Escalifant itself. But of course, uh, Moshevu, Mangama area, uh, which is within the Emirates, you know, Council of uh, the West Sudan. But of course, the Nibusa, or Good Thing Dome, which is the main host, you know, of the Kanji Dam. So we're grateful to mainstream energy solutions and all the stakeholders for making peace. Um, our ICSG and the representative of our government, you have seen everything. Yeah. What's your remark on this? Well, I will tell you that. Um, Again, on behalf of His Excellency, the Governor of Niger State, Elijah Burkasani Bello, uh, I'm here representing him and the Government of Niger State uh, to show our delight you know, to mainstream energy solutions, uh, committed you know, leadership in providing and generating you know, power for Nigeria and indeed you know, for, the, for Niger State. Uh, mainstream energy solution has, is exceptional. Even though you know we harbor, we domicile, you know, four of the high, uh, these are hydroelectricity, you know, dams. Uh, the one for Jeba and Shiroro, uh, Jeba and uh, Kaenji, uh, being managed, you know, by you know, mainstream energy solution has become exceptional. Uh, one, uh, it has also created you know, comfort for our communities. Uh, they have provided support uh, in the area of health healthcare facilities. Uh, education, water, and other infrastructures, and indeed, you know, they have empowered uh, our youth and women, you know, so that, uh, through skills acquisition. Uh, this is in no means, you know, uh, one of the things that I uh, would say uh, mainstream energy solution has done, you know, in our state that no any corporate entity has ever done it since the creation of Niger State. So we are happy. Uh, we congratulate, you know, mainstream well energy solution. We congratulate the Minister of Power you know, for piloting this, you know, uh, with the guidance of the ministry and all the other stakeholders, you know, regulatory agencies and all of those. Uh, we call on other, you know, uh, corporate entities to copy what mainstream, uh, mainstream energy solution is doing uh, so that we can deliver power to Nigeria uh, so that we'll be very comfortable and, of course, keep, you know, our communities uh, peaceful uh, through, again, the support of the traditional rulers. And for which at some point you had to call out for. I'm sure you are going to be good corporate citizens and I uh, believe we will continue to have.